I've heard about this other distro as well called Gen2 and it's similar to Nix for me. Is it hype? Is it actually useful? Because I don't understand what the purpose of Gen2 is, man. The phrase are gonna come after me because I'm dissing on Nix <laughs> and I'm dissing on, on Gen2. I'm not doing yeah. it in a bad way. I just want to educate people that watch this and to yeah. understand, you know, because you hear it a lot. And if you install Gen2, you're like a king, like the way you did it when you when you were 15, you said, right? Yeah. So what are the benefits? Is it performance? Is it, yeah. uh, what is it? I, I want to know what, what is it about? Yeah, so I think right now there's this kind of double-edged sword or like maybe a paradigm of like Gen 2 is either needed but not usable or not needed and incredibly usable. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll elaborate. I'll elaborate. So Gen 2 allows you to add like use flags and, you know, make opt so that every time you build a package, it, it uh, let's say you want to build Firefox, right, and compile it from source. You can tell your Gen 2 to say, hey, I want Firefox, but I don't want any Bluetooth support on it. And that makes it a tiny bit smaller than a Firefox binary that comes with Bluetooth support on the box, right? But let's say you're somebody who never uses Bluetooth. You don't need Bluetooth, right? So you start to see where I'm going with this. You add and you remove and remove and remove everything you need from Firefox. And all of a sudden, you've got this super minimal Firefox that actually is very, very more. It's a little bit more efficient than the binary that you maybe get off the Debian repo. And then that allows you to, in my case, allows you to play RuneScape or Neopets or whatever, like, on a machine that maybe doesn't handle like the full version of Firefox, right? So that would be like a use case for its existence. Now we live in 2099 or yeah. whatever. So yeah. everybody's machine is like a hog beast. They can do whatever they want on it. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like, they don't really need to do that anymore, but it's a beautiful concept and it's still a distro that I think is worth checking out and I still use it. So it's like, I got many machines and one of my machines is going to be on gen two for its, I think for its entire life. Right. So it's like, it's got a good place in my heart. You know what I mean? Mm. So it's more than related to old hardware so that you can use an operating system decently in old hardware. Would that be a use case? Definitely. But the problem there is that if you're on old hardware, like your J flags are like, it's going to take you a long time to compile this software, right? If mm -hmm. you're on like old, old hardware. Mm -hmm. So like it's, that's why I say if you're on brand new hardware, you can compile software really fast, but you don't need to optimize these stuff. You don't need to be compiling them with all these crazy use flags. But if you're on old hardware and you actually want to like, use Gen 2 because you want, hey, I need like to make it super effective, it's just going to take you days and days to compile like just a basic package. You know what I mean? So mm. it's it, it's it's one of those double edged swords. But I definitely recommend it for people that think installing Arch is hard. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Because I I I was like I said I was like 13 or 14 when I installed Gen 2, and I kept hearing it on and oh Arch Linux is like. 